today's video, we're going to be exploring various tracking techniques inside After Effects, including this really insane music interface that I did a while back that you guys really love. So make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe down below if you guys want to see more tutorials like this. Let's get into it. So the first tracking technique I'm going to be showing you guys is going to be involving the 3D camera tracker. What this does is it lets you put whatever you want, whether it be text, a video, a 3D object, anywhere in 3D space, and it'll be tracked. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go find the video that you want a 3D camera track to and grab it and bring it down to this little icon, put it into its own pre-composition. Quick tips when you're filming to track something is number one, make sure you have good lighting inside your scene. Number two, make sure you're shooting it at the most high quality that you can. And number three, when you're filming, make sure the thing that you want to track to has enough, I guess you could say, texture to it. What do you mean by that? And what I mean by that is a brick wall is a really great example of something that is really easy to track to inside After Effects. And on the opposite, try to not track anything to like a plain wall inside like a house. The walls are just like super smooth and there's really nothing for the 3D camera tracker to pick up on. So once you have your clip inside its own pre-composition right here, as you can see, we just scroll through pretending like there is a music player right there. First thing you want to do is go up to effects and presets and then type in 3D camera. And we're going to click on the 3D camera tracker, put it onto your layer, and then go down to advanced and make sure you click on detailed analysis. All this does is it takes a little bit more time and it goes around and kind of picks up more tracking points for you to use. And now, depending on how long your clip is, it's going to take a while to analyze. And I'll see you when this thing is done analyzing. Five minutes later. Once your video is done analyzing, it should pop up a bunch of these little camera tracking points. And now all you have to do is you want to go to where you want to actually track to and in this case we're going to be using this brick pillar right here like i said a brick texture has a lot of tracking points that you can use and in this case we want to pretty much track something right here quick tip instead of just clicking on like three of the tracking points what you can do is if you click and hold down and you start to draw an outline around all the tracking points you want it picks up a way better perspective we're just going to right click click on new solid and camera if you want to track text right here you click on this one but in this case we're going to be using a solid and camera now we have this solid that is tracked to our wall from here what you want to do is you want to right click click on pre-compose we're going to name it music interface and we're going to leave it all the attributes in and click ok we're going to double click on that layer and it's going to bring us inside here and now inside this composition whatever you put will be displayed on the wall you can put in text you can put in another video or in this case we're going to be using the music interface so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to right click in composition settings and we're going to change this to 1080 and the height to 1920 and then we're going to leave the solid in here just as a reference so we can see the actual outline of this now we're going to add in the play button the skip button and the playback button i will be leaving these three PNGs down below if you guys want to go ahead and use them. Real quick, inside this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys a really simple music interface that you guys can follow along. But I've actually created simple drag and drop music interface templates with custom Spotify animations, including transparent and background versions. And I also made ones for Apple Music also. They're really easy to add in and customize if you guys want to take your edits to the next level. And they'll be down below in the link in the description if you guys want to go check them out. All right, so we're going to grab the play button. We're going to drag it in and then we're going to click on s for scale scale this down to 35 and then we're gonna click p for position and we're gonna drag this down kind of where the music would be if it was on like on a phone next we're gonna add in the playback button and we're gonna scale this down to 14 so we're gonna click p and put this to 14 4, 9. and then all we're gonna do is put this to 270 on the x axis now we're gonna grab the skip button we're gonna put the skip button in and we're gonna scale this down to 14 also click p and we want to match this, so 14, 4, 9. And then we're going to change the X to 8, 10. So now it's evenly distributed. Next, we're going to be adding in the song covers. So to do this, we're going to right click, click new, solid. And we're going to name this song covers. And 1080, 1080, boom. We're just going to click P. We're going to drag this up and then click S and drag it down a little bit and as you guys know on apple music or on spotify when you're playing a song it has round edges around the album cover so that's what we're going to create right now while clicking on the solid layer we're going to come up to the rectangle tool we're going to hold down on it and then hover over rounded rectangle tool and then we're just going to go up into the corner right here while holding shift we're going to drag down 
all the way across the album cover. And what I always do is I go past it just so I know where it is and then go slightly in from the edge. From here, we're going to be adding in the album covers inside this solid and the main reason why i'm doing this is because these album covers that i downloaded aren't all the same size we're gonna right click click pre-compose leave all attributes click ok open this up we want to do next is we want to add in our album covers but we're gonna have to figure out on this timeline when to switch the next album cover so to do that a little trick that you guys can learn go back to your main composition and then grab the composition where you want this to switch the album song covers grab it click click it hold it and bring it down here into this section and boom just like that now we have two compositions in at the same time next thing you want to do is we're going to go to this and then we're going to go to where we first slide through right there so we're going to we're going to put a marker and then we're also going to put a marker down here and then we're going to scrub along and see where the next one is so we slide so i slide right there let's put the little marker there so the next thing you do is is to bring it back just click and hold and bring it back up into this area and i'll just bring it back we're gonna go and grab our song covers and put them right here and then we're just gonna scale these up so it fits we're gonna grab our second one put it right here scale it up go right here cut that delete and then we're gonna grab our last one and put it right there and now we can turn off this background blue layer so now it's just a transparent background and now if we go back to our 3d camera tracking now that you can see when we swipe it swipes through the different songs and from here this is where you can adjust this to make it bigger so if you just click on it click s you can scale it up and then on the y you can grab this bring it up so to get the animation of them sliding so to save you guys some time i added a free slide transition preset for after effects down below it is pretty simple all you have to do is download the preset and drag it onto an adjustment layer inside this comp and that's it and if you go back to our main composition it slides with the finger so from here as you can see after i'm done sliding through i actually click is where you actually want to have the play button be at so how you can do that is just make sure you click on this and wherever you click so it's right there we're all we're going to do is just drag this up so it fits right on the finger keyframe or a mark we're going to put a marker right where i click and we're going to double click on this and from here, this is where the play button goes away. So we can actually cut that and delete it. And this is where we want to add in the pause button. So once you've added in your pause button, you just want to grab it, bring it down to right there. And as you can see, it is a gigantic. Going to click P and put this to 1449. Click S, scale it down. And we're just going to eyeball this to where how big we want it. Really, really easy thing is just go over to effects and presets and type in the fill. Grab the fill right here, put it on the layer and then just change this to any color you want. Obviously, it's going to be white. We're going to go onto the play button and we're going to click S and then we're going to put a stopwatch for scale and we're going to go to the end and we're going to zoom this in or out. Highlight them, easy ease them. While they're highlighted, click on the graph and we're inside speed, speed graph right now. So we're just going to click hold shift and drag these over. Pause button, we're going to do the same exact thing. So we're going to keyframe the scale and this is the scale that we want it to be so we're gonna grab this one drag it ahead and then make this one super small i like them same process but this time we slide them to the left you come down your toggle switches you see this and just click on this for motion motion blur and if we go back to the 3d camera tracking our main comp we have this so far as we're sliding the layer is above my hand so the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be rotoscoping my handout so it's on top so to do that we're going to click on your main video and click Control d to duplicate bring this one to the top and we're just going to rename this to hand and we're going to quickly turn this one off real quick because we're going to be doing a little tip right here and you don't have to rotoscope the whole entire layer obviously you just have to rotoscope where your hand overlays over the music interface so as you can see right here is where we start to go over so we're going to cut that delete that and then we're just going to go into we are done with this so right there now my hand goes away it doesn't cross it ever again so we're just going to delete that now we're going to go to the beginning of this and we're just going to go up to rotoscoping 
double click on this and now we're just gonna rotoscope my hand out i'm gonna quickly go through rotoscoping my hand if you guys want to learn how to rotoscope there's plenty of tutorials online if you guys want to go check them out but i'll see you guys when i'm done with it all right so once you're done rotoscoping your hand out and we go back to our main composition here and we make sure we turn on the hand right here now when we go through it my hand is a above the actual player. Now it's just a matter of adding in your songs that you wanted to use. We're just gonna grab the song we want, put it on the bottom, go ahead to this, and we're gonna put this to negative 60, and then delete it. Then we're gonna drag in our second song right above it a little bit, and then we're gonna put this to negative 60. All right, guys, that brings us to the end of the video. I wasn't able to fit in the second tracking method. We ran out of time. But if you guys want to see that, make sure you guys just drop a like and subscribe down below. Hopefully, you guys learned something, and I'll see you guys in the next video.